Now, no more questions. I'm going to give you a very fast examination of conscience because I know we're behind because people are asking questions back there. So we want everyone to go to confession. You can go. We have 18 priests. That's going to be good. I'll be back there here in confessions too, but I have to leave right before noon. So if you're in line and it's looking at noon, you're going to have to find someone else because I got to get the heck out of here and get back to Pennsylvania. So very simple. Always go through the commandments. Do you pray every day? Yes or no? I, and the way I do things is I hear the que- I do questions. So with me, you'll come in. I'm not giving. If you want to go to the questions, period. Don't. If you don't want the questions, don't come to me. So as soon as you come in, I'm going to say, uh, "Are you married or single?" Because there's two different sets of questions. And then I'm going to just go through the commandments with you. Have you prayed every day? Yes or no? Don't tell me sometimes. Don't tell me I try. Just say yes or no. And if it's been 40 years since your last confession, if you missed once. And I say, do you pray every day? And you missed 38 and a half years ago. What's the answer? No. So, have you used God's name in vain? That means saying, not using God's holy name, which is, oh my G-O-D, using God's name as an adjective. In the Old Testament, if you just said it, they killed you. I know people that are priests, and I know people who are daily mass goers that use God's holy name in vain. You should be killed forever. They stoned you to death just by saying the word God. Oh, but I can judge everybody else. But I say God's big holy name, but no big deal. God only gave 10 commandments. One was don't you use my name in vain. Third, missing mass on Sunday, mortal sin objectively after this is done, but we already talked about that. Fourth, honor your father and mother. Do you honor your parents? If they're dead, do you pray for them because they can be stuck in purgatory? Five, uh, uh, you shall not kill. Have you helped someone have an abortion? Have you killed somebody? But have you helped someone have an abortion? If you have, if it was your child, this is what you got to do. You got to confess it. Then you got to ask God if he gave you a boy or girl. He'll tell you if he did. You got to ask God. You got to name your son or daughter in heaven. Then you got to reach into heaven and ask them by name for forgiveness. And then you'll be fine. Because where we put a period, God puts a comma. That child that you aborted lives forever. And they've been praying for you. Sixth commandment, you shall not commit adultery. I mean, uh, you shall not commit adultery. These are sins of the flesh. Our Lady at Fatima says most people go to hell because of sins of the flesh. Not because of the worst sins, it's just the one especially men fall into. The two main sins all men fall into is anger and lust. That's it. These are our main sins. I have the anger one pretty big. I've been going to anger management now for two and a half years every week. I'm much better, thank you very much. (laughs) But can you tell I have issues? Yes, I have anger issues, I get get real excited. So anyway, but the lust thing. So everybody here has sexual thoughts and temptations. All of us got them. So, and I sit there and say, have you had sexual thoughts? And I'll have guys that say no, and I'll ask again. In the last year, have you had any sexual thoughts? No, Father, I can't think of one. Oh, get out of here. We all have them, gentlemen. You've had them during this conference today. Right? So, and then if you acted on that with masturbation. So if you, and the way I sit there and say that is if you've been impure with yourself. That's all you got to do. Say, Father, I was impure at myself. Period. Let it be done. So, impure thoughts, impure actions with self, not married, oral sex with another, married, uh, artificial, I mean, uh, committing adultery, uh, uh, using artificial birth control. If you have same-sex attraction, the same-sex attraction, is that sinful? No. But acting on same-sex attraction, is that sinful? Yes. It's just like having sex before marriage, gentlemen. Both will send you to hell forever. So, you got to confess it, okay? Committed adultery, you got to confess it. Some of you are addicted to pornography, You know God hates sin. But why does God hate sin? Because he's a holy, holy God. He became sin on the cross, who is God. God hates sin because it makes his sons and daughters slaves. God does not create you to be a slave, but a son. And if you're addicted to pornography, God wants to set you free because you're beloved son. Does God love Biden? Yes, he died on the cross to save him. We got to do everything in our hearts and our powers to save other people. 
because God dies for us, we got to fast and pray for the conversion of others, okay? Have you lied, cheated, stolen, gossiped, been jealous, got drunk, got high, been judgmental, been proud? Do you consistently take care of the poor? Sins of omission, is there anything else? So normally when I just go through that with you, people go, yes, 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 yes. No, no, Father, I'd never do that one. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I'd like to try that one, Father. Whack! Yes, 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 yes. And so at the end, I'll sit there and I'll look at you and I'll say, are you sorry? You go, yes, Father, I'm sorry. That's your act of contrition. Then I'll say your penance is one hour, Father. Father, it's been 50 years. I don't think that's enough. Nobody asked you. <laughs> Jesus paid the penalty for your sin. If you say, and you think, it, not, most priests give you 10 hour fathers and 10 Hail Marys, right? And what do you do? Our Father, art in heaven, help me in the name of the King. Come our Father, art in heaven, help me in the name of the King. Come our Father, I do ten, I better do another one just in case. And I think God's in heaven sometimes going, ah, oh, shut up. Just say one and mean it. So that's all I've ever given in 32 years of priesthood. One, our Father. And so then, I'll get, I'll say, oh, you're sorry, we'll give you absolution. You become a saint. If you drop dead right after going to confession today, you get to go right to heaven. So some of you, I might have to do you a favor and slit your throat after I give you absolution. <laughs> You are a wacky person, Father. You have issues. I know. Anyway, so that's it. All the priests are here. Thank the priests for coming. Use every priest. I have to leave. I ask you to pray for me, but I ask you, I'll, after I do that, but I ask you, please, please pray for me. Because let's be honest here, you've never met a more arrogant priest in your life, have you? <laughs> a louder one, one that screams more than me. There is no one else. So please pray for me. Please put, if you have a prayer list, pray for me that I never, ever cause scandal against the church and I stay faithful to Jesus all the day of my life. Do you promise to pray for me? Yes. And I promise to pray for you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless, keep, and protect you. He who is Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless you, gentlemen. All right. <laughs>